Good evening from London. London stocks fell sharply in early trade today, down 1% as investors were left disappointed by a lack of new stimulus measures from China and with house builder Vistri in freefall after a profit warning. Despite this, among the biggest rises on the FTSE 100 were Tesco and Marks and Spencer Group, up 0.69 and 0.57%. According to market researcher Kantar, annual grocery price inflation was 2% in the four weeks to September the 29th, after being 1.7% in the previous four-week period. Consumer strain has also contributed to seasonal purchases, with Halloween pumpkin sales at just under £1 million and sales of hot chocolate and soup up 28%, and 10% respectively. China has announced that it will impose anti-dumping measures on brandy imported from the European Union, marking the latest salvo in an escalating trade row between Beijing and Brussels. This comes after the bloc undertook a probe into Chinese electric vehicle subsidies in September last year. The news comes as a shock following a statement in August that Beijing would not impose provisional tariffs even though it found evidence of dumping. However, according to the Commerce Ministry, operators will now have to pay a corresponding guarantee to Chinese customs. Shares in French spirits giants Remy Contro and Pernod Ricard fell sharply in Paris following the news. This month, the Nigeria British Association will be coming to London in celebration of Nigeria's Independence Day, which was marked on the 1st of October. The key event seeks to celebrate Nigeria's rich heritage and the enduring relationship between Nigeria and the UK. We spoke with organiser Mr Kunle Ulugun about what to expect. We have a lot of key stakeholders in Nigerian Britain Association. You know, we have you know, members of Nigerian uh, British Council and also Nigerian High Commissioner to the UK and also the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. This is a different event in many ways. Um, it's a social, cultural, educational you know, program that we are bringing to the UK. It's not the first time that we've had it, but this year's one is going to be unique because I'm the chair of this and I've been leading it, you know, meeting with all key stakeholders across all various you know, industries. And I'll give you a good example. We have so many uh, Nigerians, you know, Africans, people from Commonwealth countries that are looking to, you know, secure investment deal within, you know, so many organizations in the UK or even buy properties, you know, for business, you know, things like that. We are bringing First Bank UK into this this year and a lot of individuals do not know that First Bank UK can help you to facilitate, you know, any kind of investment from Africa, from Nigeria or Commonwealth countries into the UK. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.